Okay, everybody. Greetings. Um, time to do another random house project, and I thought somebody might find this interesting. My uh, tub drain, shower drain, uh, is ha is getting slow, uh, and this is uh, this is not the first time I've had to do this, but uh, <clears throat> we're gonna do it again anyways. Probably from hair, uh, my wife, or something most likely, right? Um, I'm having problems using the snake on it. Snake doesn't want to work. So I found something, and it worked last time. We're going to try it again this time. And that is a water jetting kit that I'm going to hook up to the uh, pressure washer over here. Now, I don't know if this camera phone is going to catch it, but it's got one jet in the front to dislodge clogs, and it's got jets on the sides. Focus. It's got jets on the side of it to, uh, yeah, there's one, that clean the line out as well. And so we're going to give it a shot. Now, I've already got the lance stuffed in the uh, window for the, uh, <clears throat> for the bathroom, and we're going to crank this up and see how it works. See fuel. So, let's see if this plays nice with me or not. Come on. We'll let it warm up. Well, let's warm it up. We'll go inside. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. This will connect to the lance, to the pressure lance, and this is about 50 foot. There it goes. It's smooth now. Alright. Oh, oh. Hose is leaking. Uh, let's go check it out. Alright. So here we are in my bathroom. I'm taking the lance apart. Main lamp, this is Lance Rod, and this is the actual handle bit right here, right? And they normally go together. So, we're going to take that apart and we're going to put on the sewer jitter. Okay, I think we should seal it. So this, how far does it go in? Uh, this is like a 50 foot, but we're not going to use all of it. We're going to use 6, 10 foot or something. It's about all that went down for me last time. Oh. It's better than the snake though. Yeah, so I've I'm wondering if it's going to come out the other end. <laughs> <laughs> I've undone the overflow drain. And that's what we're going to go down because it gives me a straighter shot down the drain here. Then that drain. So let's see. And you'll hear my pressure washer has got an idle down feature. So when I kick the when I kick the hose on, you'll hear it throttle. Up. I can definitely hear that. See that? You get a. Oh crud! <laughs> uh, Dad, are you yeah. sure you don't want your phone wet? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Okay, so. Get behind me and I'll probably get the plumber's track at this point, so don't show that. Alright. Look at that. You? A 
soap. Still, it looks good. Alright. You think it's clean? I don't know. Let us find out. Because it wasn't draining very well. Start with. Even with the lid off, so we'll have it full open. Yeah, it looks like it's draining much better. But I didn't, even, I didn't even get that far down it like I did last time. We're definitely fade off. Yeah. Not so slow. Let me see how deep I can go with the things. Probably not too deep. You may want to check the video because I'm not sure why I pointed that out. I'm sure I got your face though. Yeah, that's fine. Huh? I just like dip running it down there a little bit to make sure it clean. Cleans line. And it looks good to me. Meow, 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 meow. Look at that though. Much better. Because with, with our water saving shower head, it was barely draining enough to keep up with that. But um, the water yeah, shower head's kind of clogged up on some. Which makes it even worse. It should <laughs> It should have been able to do that. Alright. Just about your grandmother. Alright, everybody. So hopefully, we caught enough of that on film for you to get the idea of. <coughs> The trick is with this sewer jetter is that it has, uh, let me see here, uh, three, three reverse jets, one forward. So while it's clogging out, it also helps pull it down the line from the fourth seat, so it's firing out semi rearward. So it helps quite a bit, but anyways, I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to call that good enough. I'm going to clean it up, cover it back on. Undo everything, pack it all back up, turn the motor off, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Maybe somebody found this useful. So you know, clearing your line with 3,100 psi is gonna make something happen, right? Thanks for watching.